Hey everybody, welcome back. This is my much overdue tier five Java unlock guide. It's a very simple event. In tier five, you get Gamguard again, Mob Enforcer, and Hut Slayer Leia, if you were unaware. This is probably the one and only time we will ever see her in this outfit. So soak it up, boys and girls, because there she is in all of her glory and moving on. She does have a kit, although she will not be engaging in this battle. She can neither attack nor be attacked, cannot gain turn meter, and cannot be defeated. She's just there, I guess, so they could put her there. I don't really know. Um, that really is the strategy tips <laughs> regarding Hut Slayer Leia. She's just going to be there. The rest of Tier 5 is really, really simple. You'll have, as I said, Jabba, Gam, and uh, Mob Enforcer. The name of this event really is Thermal Detonators. Just you want to try to land the Thermal Detonators as much as possible because pretty much that's how Jabba wins. And uh, the mods don't really seem to matter. I got 68 speed for only 206 on my Gamorrean Guard. They're all blue and purple mods. Uh, we got some blue and gold here on Mob Enforcer and Amir, 78 speed. Only bonus 600 damage. Uh, she's a tank, I didn't quite catch the health. But I mean, they're slow, they're slow, slow, slow. And we're gonna handle this without any uh, real challenge. There are, I do have some tips though. Number one, you want to open with Jabba throwing, as I said, the thermal detonators as much as possible. Now my first time doing this, I went straight after Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Why? Because I just figured he'd be the most dangerous. Um, as before, Han Solo is blinded, so he's gonna not do a bunch of nothing for a long time. Wait, no, that's a double negative. He will be doing a bunch of nothing for a long time, but I do, I think he eventually gains his sight, but he'll fall down long before that happens. Um, none of these characters will be defeated. They're simply gonna take a knee and bow to Jabba the Hutt, his highness, and when everybody is bowing down, then then, then you win. So you can see we've already thrown out Jabba's uh, second special with the thermals twice, targeted uh, Luke, and it actually looked a little scary um, for Gamguard. I mean, he's he's about 70% health there, maybe 80, not so sure, but lost all his protection. But you'll notice that Chewbacca fell down uh, entirely due to the thermal detonators. We got a couple of stacks out there. They, they just do uh, a lot of damage. Here we go, some more. Also keep in mind that every time those detonators go boom, uh, you're getting 2% stacking mastery on each of your characters, and that adds up exponentially, but again, it doesn't really matter. Jabba's basic will call an assist from the weakest ally. That's normally going to be Mob Enforcer, but if Gamguard takes enough hits, of course, he'll be assisting. And there they go, they're all down, but wait, what is this? Sneak attack, Hutslayer Ninja Leia from the back, and ha ha, you fool! You fell victim to one of the classic blunders, the most famous of which is never get involved in a land war in Asia. Slightly less well known is never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line, but even slightly or less well known is never send your Gam Guard and Mob Enforcer on a lunch break after the enemies bend the knee in front of you, professing their undying loyalty to you because you never know what's going to happen. Anyway, so that's round one. Uh, we're going to do it a couple more times and I'll, I'll share a couple more tidbits of wisdom, so here we go. All right, so after that first round, I decided to shift up the strategy a little bit, and instead of going for Luke, we're gonna target down Chewbacca, mostly because against a standard CLS team, that's what you would wanna do anyway, since he's guarding uh, Han Solo and one other, the weakest ally. So I don't think there's any guard out there, I don't see any guard, but it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna throw out thermal detonators, and then we're going to repeat the process with Mob Enforcer, and right there, Han Solo took the knee without ever firing a shot at him. And we can see now that while I've been attacking Skiffguard second, C-3PO and R2 are likewise in the same situation. Here we go, watch Luke Skywalker. I didn't even attack him, but the bombs went off and he fell down. Once again, Jabba gets choked from behind, didn't learn his lesson round one, and rinse and repeat. You do have to do this 12 times. I mean, like, seriously, 12 times. I swear that the people at Capital Games must seriously get off on, like, monotonous activities or they are the most like 
scheduled people in the world, right? They probably, every single day at 7 o'clock, they wake up with their alarm. 7.02, pull the blankets off. 7.05, stand up, right? And on they go. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if at home, like some of their spouses have rules. Like you can't watch TV until you've washed dishes 12 times, you know? <laughs> no, you can't buy another Lego set until you've given me 14 back rubs. It's just like, what the hell? Why do we have to do this kind of stuff? so many times it's just insane right i mean it's like imagine you're at work and you're like hey boss i need to take next tuesday off for a dentist appointment and your boss is like no you can't take next tuesday off why because you haven't filled out your tps reports 40 times it's like, enough of the tps reports all right jiminy cricket oh yeah and did you put the right cover sheet on it you know we got a new cover sheet Oh, thank you, Bob, and everyone else, because that guy had six bosses. And if you don't get my references, then shame on you. You're missing out on one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, it's called Office Space. Yeah, you need to go watch it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show... Um, I'm show I'm gonna, this video includes, I don't know, five, six, seven of these. Uh, and you can watch them uh, if you want, but sincerely, guys, it's not hard. You just, I, I recommend you target down Chewbacca first, then shift your focus to Skiffguard, and in the process, pretty much everybody gets defeated to the thermal detonators. Um, it's pretty simple. If you do find yourself struggling in anything, I just would highly suggest at that point remodding Gamguard for maximum health and protection, probably more protection. Actually, no, health, because he gained bonus protection but I don't know which one he's better for honestly and then uh, maximizing speed on mom enforcer because mom enforcer right there throws out thermal detonators and makes them go boom so the more often she can take a turn and do that the, the better off you'll be but I don't think you'll have any troubles uh, don't forget that in the weekly shipments now you can buy dark side and light side galactic legend currency it's not an amazingly good value but if you're like me and you want to get it done quickly and in a hurry it's a great place to do it also i recommend for dark side currency uh, i think it's eight uh hard no it's an uh, easy eight uh, B, I think. I'm not sure. It's where the, the Cairo tech is that you can farm like those laptop pieces. Um, it's so it's really good because I mean, you need a bajillion Cairo techs anyway now. And uh, of course, you get uh, the currency. And for light side, it's nine hard, it's a light side easy nine two, I think, also where you get the Cairo tech shock prods, I think is what they're called. Guys, forgive me, my names with the gear is so awful because I just don't care. I know what they look like, I know where they are. I go get them right but yeah that's uh, it's the chirotex right i mean like you know grand inquisitor needs like 400 of them or 450 i can't remember so yeah you need a bajillion of these things um so mod not not mod farm smart farm where the the, the gear is that you know you're gonna need uh throw out the thermal detonators and you'll have an easy time with it all right thanks for watching so much um this is the last battle and uh check it out you can see getting the ultimate applied and i'll catch you later bye bye